is Jonathan Yi, and I'm the director of Shift. Uh, my name is Lance Lee, and I composed for the film Shift. Which is a movie about working the graveyard shift at a mailroom in San Francisco. You the new Frank? No, I'm Alex. Yeah, the new Frank. The whole basis of it is when I took the job at the mailroom and how my relationship with the workers there who are all first generation Chinese people who hired me because my last name they thought was Chinese. You know, it, it created a very interesting situation, especially economically. I mean, I was a college student going for a film degree which is very different from somebody who's worked, you know, 25 years in the, you know, postal industry. Well, when I was in high school, I ended up going to um, a school that, where everybody else was, had way more money than I've ever even imagined. And bef before I attended that school, I always thought of myself as an upper middle class kid. Uh, to them, I was something a little bit lower than that. And it was really strange, you know, being in the middle of working with, um, people who are really hardworking blue collar workers and having my friends back at home being something of something completely different you know basically with trust funds and all that other stuff and I was stuck in the middle of that and so I was, I was not one and I wasn't the other I was kind of floating in between these two worlds and that's what this film is about and my friend Lance uh, who's with me at the festival actually composed the music uh, over some time and he used to play music back in the late 90s with me when I lived in the Bay Area and we used to play music together and I thought he'd be perfect for the job. He did a few commercials and things for me before and I thought that he'd give the right mood for the film. Luckily he did and music's out on a seven inch vinyl soundtrack now which is very odd for a short film you know but it's really cool that we got to do that. I worked very closely with John. Um, I think we took a very unorthodox approach with composing this film because um, we actually started composing way before the picture was locked, uh, which usually doesn't happen. And um, it was a little odd because I was on the West Coast, he was on the East Coast, so it was a lot of email communication over the phone. And basically, I would just do little demos in my bedroom, um, just on you know on my home computer, and you know send him little sample tracks here, this and that. And he would give me really good hints. I'm looking for this type of a feel, or I would see a, a particular scene that we'd shoot, or you know, just kind of get a feel for it. And I would just do my best to kind of musically produce how that scene made me feel, or what kind of feeling John told me to go for. I definitely want to expand on that and try all kinds of new things. But I'm always happy to start something new, and I'm actually I'm ready. Uh, I'm looking for something. So. So no matter what my next project is, um, it'll really deal with the same kind of themes and everything like that, which, which is basically from real life circumstance and actually has a message that I believe in rather than just be purely entertainment. So I might not make any money doing this kind of stuff, but that's the kind of film that I love and that's the kind of films I watch, so that's what I'll continue to do. Hey, what the fuck is your problem? That's my coffee maker. Hey, Brian, Brian. Fuck you. What are you doing? What are you gonna do? Hmm? You like that? Yeah, hmm? You no, like that? No, hey, I guys, do not huh? like that. Huh? No, huh? stop, 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 huh? stop, 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 st